Hi, and thank you for joining me in another episode of Chad Sports Talk. We're, we're diving into world sports. My name's Chad, and thank you for clicking on my video and we explore this possibility of the NBA and Major League Baseball expanding to 32 to join the NFL and NHL in those key areas. If you like my content, please let me know. Leave a comment exactly you know what you want to feature want me to feature next on my in any upcoming episodes. Hit that like, hit subscribe, and let's begin our journey. First I'd like to dive into the NBA, who's probably my most talk about things because the Seattle Supersonics is always number one on the list of everyone's thing. And the thing when the NBA does expand, it's an automatic lock. Thank the much parts of the Seattle Kraken and the NHL for getting a newly revamped arena in the city of Seattle. We'll soon be able to see the Sonics return to the hard, hardwood very shortly. However, with that being said, there's no immediate time frame right now for the NBA to expand. So, you know, Adam Silver's kind of mentioned that he would like to, but there's no plans of yet. More likely, a part will happen until we see the lease ends on a couple of franchises, like of a North well, Pelicans lease ends. Then in 2024, they gotta see where the league kind of goes from there. So I do see within the next part about five, six years, we will see the league expand. And you may see one or two franchises move in that time frame. So I'm just gonna just concentrate really on the expansion aspect and kind of run down 10 cities that I think should be considered in joining the NBA. Now number 10, I have Baltimore. I know Baltimore's right down the road from Washington, but it's already a hotbed for sports because it already has the Ravens and the Orioles. Why not bring in basketball? They've had two iterations of the Baltimore Bullets. And the first iteration was from 1947 to 1954, and that's the one that won the title. And then the Bullets came back again in 1960 when the Chicago Packers failed to draw any, any, any crowd basically in there. Of course, when you're in Chicago and you name a team the Packers, it doesn't really bode well to draw fans, especially when the Bears are rivals, the Green Bay Packers. So the team moved out to Baltimore and became the Bullets because of the, you know, armory and and the manufacture of of bullets in the city. It is now known as the Washington Wizards. The probability of Baltimore being considered is probably extremely low. But it's nice to mention it's still a large metropolitan area that should bode well to attract you know fans. Number nine on my list is another former NBA site, Cincinnati, Ohio. Why should Cleveland be the only one representing the state of Ohio? Let's bring Cincinnati. You know, it was home of the Royals from 1957-1972. This is also where Oscar Robinson, the Hall of Famer, played and dominated the league. Bring Cincinnati back into the fold, help split that Ohio demographic, which the Cavaliers may may not like. But once again, things are low probability, even though City of Cincinnati is also you know, a hotbed for sports. You got the Bengals, you got the Reds, and you also have their major league soccer team. Number eight on my list, this think is something that Silver's actually said prior that when he does expand, he wants to head south. I'm not talking about the southern United States, he wants to go south of the border. He wants to tap Mexico for a market. While I do believe a, a team in Mexico City could work, it will draw some fans. But as we've noticed, especially in the current world climate, that international teams may not exactly work advantageously if certain aspects are put in place by all the governments. So at this present point in time, I got Mexico City pretty low on the list, but things can change, especially if you watch this later on and there's no nothing going on that will allow, you know, that restrict travel, Mexico City could be a lot higher on the list. It's a very attractive market, fresh market, and NBA will become the first professional, Northern's professional league, North American's professional league, 
to be represented in three countries. Next on my list will be Vancouver. I know Vancouver did have the Grizzlies. They lost them back in 2001. But not having Canada represent both sides of the country, I think it's kind of a, a downplay on, on, on them, and they should come back. Especially with a young, brand new Seattle team. Why not bring a brand new Vancouver team? Great, some great rivalry there and help build up those franchises. Not to mention, you got Portland right there, so you got those three teams in the Pacific Northwest that can battle, much like in Major League Soccer. My kind of wild card here coming in at number six is Pittsburgh. Now, Pittsburgh briefly had an NBA team back in 46 47. So, not many people realize this, but you know, they were on, they did have a team for to play some hoops. But beyond that, they've never been mentioned there anywhere else. I mean, they kind of made an appearance in the, in the ABA, and that's basically it. Uh, no one considers Pittsburgh a viable position. I mean, it's a great sports mecca. With the Steelers, Pirates, and Penguins. Why not throw the basketball out there as well? You know, the, the arena is fairly recent. So it could definitely meet the standards for the NBA in terms of, you know, in the amenities in an arena. So I wouldn't consider Pittsburgh too far out. But once again, it may not happen just because, you know, maybe Philadelphia doesn't want to share that market. Arranges down that interest in the city of Pittsburgh itself. And number five, I got St. Louis. Now, St. Louis hasn't had a franchise since 1968 when the Hawks left for Atlanta. And that was actually the second team to call St. Louis home for the NBA. And they had the Bombers in there from 46 to 50. So, not having the team in the state of Missouri, I think is a little, a little wrong. But, and St. Louis is another great town you know you have the Cardinals and the Blues and uh, for a long time they also had the foot, football NFL in there so right now yeah, I'll kind of leave that alone and they also they got Major League Soccer's out called St. Louis home and putting a team in St. Louis could make some sense it's right there in the middle of the country to kind of help balance out some some of the travel between like Minnesota Memphis Chicago Oklahoma City and I think it would be very viable and be another you know good market for them to kind of return to Number four, I kind of went small market on this one. Um, this was a city that tried to attract the Grizzlies when they were being relocated. And that's Louisville, Kentucky. They tried to get someone in there and become the first professional team in Louisville. And the NBA has been kind of known to be the first to go to such markets when they become available. And they had an ABA team called the Kentucky Colonels, and they tried to do the same name when they were trying to get the Grizzlies. As you all know, this is not because of KFC. It's because it's a title you can earn with the Commonwealth of Kentucky. And they can really see Louisville kind of work. It does have a basketball history. I mean, the, the University of Louisville does have some basketball power behind it, as well as Kentucky. So I can actually see that one kind of work. But more than likely it won't be it because it's not going to raise those red flags. It's not a big money market. It's just to have a lot of dedicated fans. Now number three on my list is Kansas City. I put these pretty high on this one. I'm pretty high on the list. So they're definitely going to get a team. I'm I feeling they will get a team. More than likely, I think it's going to be more probably a relocation than an expansion. But they built an arena to get a franchise at either the NBA or NHL, and they got neither. So I think finally after doing some updates to this set arena, they're built to welcome an 18 to Kansas City, who for a 72 to 85 were home for the Kings. Now the first three years of that, they kind of split their home games with the Omaha. I don't see that happening again. Patrick Mahomes wants to see the NBA kind of show up there in Kansas City. I mean, you get the Chiefs and the Royals to draw good crowds, and then you get Sporting Kansas City as well for Major League Soccer. It's about time we start looking at getting some other 
indoor sports in the city of Kansas City. Number two, it's going to be Las Vegas. It should be a no-brainer. Vegas has become now a hotbed of the sports world. Everyone wants, wants, everyone wants to get into Vegas. And why not? I mean, the Golden Knights have been very successful and draw huge crowds. The Raiders, it's Raider Nation travels. And, and, and they migrate anywhere from Oakland to L.A. back to Oakland now in Vegas. And it's just, this is Raider Nation. No, to get their back hole set up anywhere. So why not get NBA in there to kind of help tap that market? You got the Las Vegas Aces of the WNBA do quite well. Why not bring them in over there? Well, number one's no brain there. I'm not going to spend too long on it. It's Seattle. No, no, it's a lock. Go ahead, pencil them, them in and get in the franchise. That's long overdue to repay the city of Seattle for the loss of the Supersonics when you let them go to Oklahoma City. All right, next I'd like to talk about Major League Baseball and give you about 10 cities, I think, that should be considered for possible franchises. Now, we all know the Athletics, more likely, will, will seek a new home very soon. With Vegas on top of that list and sure fall closely behind with Portland. Um, but with Major League Baseball, I don't think see anything really happening until... All state admissions are kind of taken care of, but right now I think that's probably about 2027. So it's going to probably be a while before we actually see Major League Baseball expand to 32. But these are just 10 cities I kind of come up with that should be considered. And I'll start off with number 10, which is Oklahoma City. And it might be a little bit of a stretch, but it's right there in the middle of the country. It could be a great rival for Kansas City and Texas. And I think they should do very well in attracting fans. And plus, you know, Oklahoma City Thunder does quite well. So let's put a team on the baseball diamond and try to compete. To grab some fans, maybe from away from Oklahoma football. Who knows? Number nine, I'm going to put a team at Indianapolis. I think Indianapolis could actually work as well, and especially in that region, because you can build robberies with the Reds, Cubs, White Sox, Brewers, any team in that right, really that Midwest region. And they actually did have two different franchises in the early days in the National League. So, you know, they're no stranger to being in, in the professional limelight, especially when you got the Colts and Pacers there. Number eight, kind of a lo little bit low on the list, is uh, Buffalo. Buffalo has been a great host for the Blue Jays, while the Canada kind of put, you know, a travel ban to recently that's been lifted and they've been actually playing in Toronto. But I do see that could be an actual aspect. They also had a earlier in the National League franchise in the beginning of the National League. So they know, you know, there's a little bit of history with, with baseball there, and the Bisons do quite well for, for the minor league. And, of course, you get the Bills and Sabres there as well. So definitely another sports-centric type of city. Um, maybe those early games, the start of the season, may or may not work because of the weather. But, and they make it work in other code reasons, so I mean, it can possibly work. But unfortunately, I don't see Buffalo kind of making that leap up to Major League Baseball. Seven, um, I'll have on there will be San Antonio. Now, San Antonio, only professional sports franchise representing the city is the NBA and the Spurs. And the Spurs draw very well and very well representative in the Alamo City. And San Antonio did used to hold some like pre-season after spring training before, before the regular season Rangers and Astros games for the Astros moved to the American League. And both franchises were kind of happy with how the Alamo Dome got transformed to a baseball stadium. And that's not really a permanent solution. You know, they have to build in their baseball specific stadium somewhere in San Antonio area. But once again, you know, it's probably a little bit low on the list because Astros and Rangers both go, hey, nope, that's mine. You know, you know, no touchy. So, no, of course, for St. Louis, I think they would actually do well for baseball. I just want to see. Number six, I'm going to go with Vancouver. Um, put another team in Canada. Makes sense. And when I put on the west coast of Canada, they kind of, you know, bounds out some of the, the, uh, the, the, the representation for the country. They can definitely develop a rivalry with Seattle Mariners. 
I made it right there. It kind of makes sense. But, you know, the recent, you know, paint, you know, world situation and travel bans put in, being put in place kind of like may deter Major League Baseball from putting their team in Canada. But I still say it's put a team in Vancouver. I'm sure it will, it will draw crowds as well. In number five, kind of low, um, especially with some of the rumors filling out there, is Portland. They're like the number two team for the athletics to kind of go to, or number two city for the athletics to go to. And so city actually has a couple of different franchises. So you got, you know, the Trailblazers of the NBA, and they got the Timbers Major League Soccer. So they could definitely try to bring in a Major League Baseball team to kind of help raise their sports profile up a bit. And once again, great rival with Seattle. Number four, I'll go and put Charlotte. I was debating between Charlotte or the Raleigh Durham area. Um, but definitely a team in North Carolina. I'm only more towards Charlotte because it's the bigger city. It's probably got more more people there to kind of draw the money. And you already got, you know, the Hornets. You got the Panthers. You got Major League Soccer. I mean, why not? And the reason why I throw, throw out Raleigh because of they got the inch out with the hurricane. So, and plus, you know, putting a team in that area going to be a geographic rival for the Braves right there in Atlanta. So it'll definitely work. And right now, the southern U.S., the southeastern U.S., it's not very well representative with, with Major League Baseball. Maybe because those hot, you know, long days of August, high humidity. Maybe take a, you know, stab at that one. But I think Charlotte could work. But more than likely, I don't see them getting one either. So... But they're definitely should probably be high on the list. Number three, Montreal. Put a team back, putting that Expos back in Montreal. That's what the fans want. They've been screaming for that. And like I said, you know, Major League Baseball does have a tendency to go back into cities that they once had. So putting a team back in Montreal kind of makes sense. Once again, you know, that geographic rival with Toronto. But I do not see them going up to Canada, either Montreal or Vancouver. So, unfortunately, you just kind of got to hope that some type of team goes back up to Montreal and claim the Expo's name and carry on. At number two is Nashville. Nashville starting to get more and more people invested to try to bring a franchise into the Music City. And once now, Nashville is one of those other growing sports cities with the Titans, the Predators, and their soccer team for Major League Soccer. And why not bring in baseball as well? I mean, right there, you could probably pull some, you know, rival games with Cincinnati and Atlanta. I mean, it's a little bit of a drive for, like, Cincinnati. But, you know, that could be a great, great area to kind of grab some teams. And if you look around that general area, there's no lot, no representation for baseball there. I mean, they may, you know, cut out some, you know, Braves fans, but it's definitely an untapped resource. So I definitely can see Nashville joining either with relocation or expansion. And then one on the list, of course, is Las Vegas. I mean, that's a just no-brainer. Like I said, the Athletics more than likely will move there within the next couple of years when this video gets posted. So... Like I said, it's just one of those meccas right now everyone wants to go to. Thanks to you know NHL putting the Gold Knights out there and how quickly they blossomed. Then came the NFL and the WNBA with the Raiders and Aces, and they've done extremely well in drawing crowds. So I can actually see that kind of happening. But, you know, it's just I don't think they'll get an expansion team. They'll get a relocated team. So I really think it's going to be the Las Vegas Athletics. As Las Vegas is going to steal another team from the city of Oakland. Well, those are my choices for Major League Baseball and the NBA. Let me know what you think. Maybe there's some other cities you might think probably should be higher on my list. Maybe some cities I didn't think of. Let me know in the comments below. Hey, let me know what you want to talk about next. Like I said, i got plenty of things floating around this old noggin of mine that I would love to share with you all. Um, so please stay tuned for further episodes of Chat Sports Talk. 
hit like, subscribe, and I'll see you soon.